What's going on guys, this is your boy Random Guy Kevin. This is First Impression. First Impression is when I take a gun that was sent to me to review and put it in the hands of other airsofters to get their immediate first impression after playing with it. This is the Lancer Tactical Enforcer Needle Tail, or the LT-29. What's up guys? I go by the name of Call Sign Fluffy. So, about airsoft, I've been playing airsoft for about nine years, going on nine years. So, my main primary that I use is a Umbrella Armory upgraded SRXL, the Red and Black Edition. The gun that I'm using right here is the Enforcer. I think what I like about the gun is that it come, came comes with the MOSFET. So there's that, as what we techies call it, there's an active breaking in there, so it cycles completely. And so I like the fact that the stock is like this as well. It's actually a lot comfortable in person than what it would look like online. Also, it's, adjust, it's adjustable too. That's what I really like about guns like that. This is why I actually like small guns like this itself. Small guns are better for indoors and so too. Um, if I were to give a recommendation, I'd say I'd give this gun a four and a half, 4.5. I like it, it's really reliable, it's full of metal, and there's a lot of battery space in there too. Another thing that I could mention is that whenever you get the gun itself, it comes with a spare mag. And this is also a mag really, mag space holder too. So, I really like it. Another thing is that um, most guns out there, they come with the standard gear uh, hop-up unit with the enforcer, it comes with a rotary in there too. Pretty sure it's a type 4 barrel in there too, but this is indoors, so this is meant for a CQB gun, so there's no type 4. But, I honestly like it. If I were to give it a rating, I'd give it a intermediate level. Um, it's a good beginner gun as well too. Especially if you're doing indoors, because you have guns out there that are probably retailed like 300, 400, maybe even five, depending on which one you get. But for a gun that's 200 bucks, I like it. I'd rate it, and I definitely do recommend it. Thank you. Hey okay. guys, my name is Kevin. I play for Ration Airsoft. I play airsoft for about nine years. My primary is a fully built Polar Star, and first time I use the Lancer Tactical Enforcer. Um, I actually am pretty impressed with this gun. Uh, after running an HPA line the whole time, it's nice to kind of get away from it. But th the big thing is everyone has M4s nowadays. And you have kind of this full custom alpha stock, and so it's a nice new fit on it. Personally, uh, although the, the internals are absolutely amazing, I find the stock a little different if you're used to the M4 stock, but after a while it grows on you. What's nice about this is it comes to the alpha stock, which holds its own proprietary magazine in here, and it's just so much different. Um, personally, I find it a little annoying because it's such a large stock and it's a little hard to shoulder. But eventually it will grow on you and you don't have an M4. If it is an M4, so you can upgrade it internally if you like. Um, this gun's really nice in my opinion because the trigger response is something that you'd be paying a couple hundred dollars for. Um, but for under $200, I believe, um, the, the price point is amazing for what you're paying for. And having the reliability of Lancer Tactical, you have the ability to just keep using this thing, using this thing, and still have something unique on the field. I rate this gun about three and a half stars out of five. Hope you guys enjoyed some player's first impressions of the Lancer Tactical Enforcer Needle Tail. If you're looking to purchase this gun, I will leave a link for it in my description. I have some more videos on the way, so don't forget to like and subscribe to my page. Have a good one.